Good evening, YouTubers. Bald Rhino here. Another great PSA reveal for you tonight. Uh, some vintage as well as some newer cards. But I wanted to show you uh, some really exciting Hall of Famers. The first is a 54 Bowman Larry Doby PSA 4. I've decided to slab every card in the 1950s that I have. Uh, there's so much fraud out there that they're going to have value regardless of the grade you get, uh, depending on how long you keep them. But just an FYI, that's what I've done. So you'll see some really low grades here, uh, but that's okay. That was the plan. A 1954 Bowman Robin Roberts, PSA 2. I actually think that card's better, but I think that the more grades a card has, the less apt PSA is to give it a certain grade, particularly if they're 10s. Uh, they just will not part with a 10 if there are a lot of them, uh, particularly if it's pre-1980. Here's uh, Gil Hodges, 54 Bowman, PSA 4. Guy probably should be in the Hall of Fame. Nice picture, great, great color there. Next is a 1954 Bowman, Billy Martin, PSA 3. And then I wanted to spend just a little time on this next guy, Mini Mimosa. There's a PSA 5.5, and uh, there's a book that I really would recommend to you folks if you're curious about who should make the Hall of Fame, who shouldn't be in, and who might make it. It's the Cooperstown Casebook by Jay Jaffe. I just finished it, and he makes a really compelling argument for Minnie Minosa. Um, and I wanted to read a quote that Orlando Cepeda said about Minosa. Minosa was the Jackie Robinson for all Latinos, the first star who opened doors for all Latin American players. He was everybody's hero. I wanted to be Minoso. Mente wanted to be Minoso. So that's how good this guy is. And in this book, they talk about the fact that it's almost a certainty that he will be in the Hall of Fame one day. So it might be a card worth getting. And then I had a video not too long ago where I opened a, a pack because I'm so addicted to packs. And I wanted to show the what happened to some of those cards. Uh, Nolan Ryan came back in eight. This is a perfect example of what um, Mike talks about where uh, you want a certain grade, but you know the card's not going to get it. And I wanted a 9, but it's just not centered well enough to get a 9. But beautiful card. And if you remember, I pulled the Baines rookie in that, and that came back in 8 just like I thought it would. Beautiful card. Very lucky pull. And if you remember, I also pulled the Reigns rookie, and I thought that might get a 10, but it came back a 9, which is really awesome. It's a neat thing when you can... Uh, open packs and make it feel like it was worth it beyond just the rush of opening a pack and there's a George Brett PSA 9 that I uh, Did receive in that same pack, but the best thing was the Joe Morgan If everybody remembers how excited I was about that Morgan. Well, there it is It came back a PSA 10 and that card is sweet and that's all in the new slab and I I tell you if you can buy high PSA grades in the new slab uh, the grading techniques are more sophisticated, and so you know if you're buying a 9 or a 10, it is a 9 or a 10. Really an excellent card. Uh, I've done some research recently where you look at the 9s and 8s and 9s and 10s from way back, and those cards just are not as good as they are now. Hope this was informative. Thanks for all the subscriptions. Take care.